Hi guys. So this is going to be a outfit of the day. It's Saturday afternoon and we're about to just go hang out at a Cinco de Mayo fest or something. I don't know. But I am neon green. So I thought this would be a cute outfit of the day and as you see, if you stay tuned, I posted a tutorial to show you how to get this pretty glowy look. And pretty glowy look and for my shirt this is like an Aztec shirt from Forever 21 the shorts or like an ombre um, neon ombre because it's darker but they bleed out they're from the Gap thought they were pretty neat and my shoes I, I just kept them nude actually I went to work my gold ones I couldn't find the other one so I went with this one actually this um Carmo color, whatever, blends better with my Aztec, so it all worked out for the best. Anywho, those shoes are from Aldo last year. And for my arm candy, it's just random bracelets. These two came from um, Compass Trading, which is um, like a jewelry store here in Texas. This is from Forever 21 out the three bango. This is from a BB set. These two are from a BB set, so I just randomly put bracelets together. And this one is also from Compass Trading. No ring. My earrings are guests. So, here's the outfit of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys very soon. a flat synthetic brush and pure white and adding it to my lid and just a tiny bit into the crease but we'll go back and blend that out so just add a white bottom twenty four. I'm just going to go back in with that same medium brown just very lightly and just to go all oh, blend the white in with the crease color so it won't have a harsh line. Two forty two, a flat brush. A little bit and go back in and blend it in with your crease color. This is what helps all your colors blend. You have to layer them on top of each other to blend them into each other. So now that I have those on top, you see, I'm going to go back and blend it together. And it should become one. You should not be able to tell where one stop and one end begins. Okay, so I'm going to a deeper brown. Um, I'm going to take brown scrub, but any brownie orange looking color will work. I'm going to use, work. I'm going to use this color right here. Brown scrub by MAC. And we're going to add it just in the crease, just to make it a little more orangey because I have orange in my shirt, lime green, orange gray. And these two colors look well together. I'm not completely covering up that first brown that I, I added. I'm just adding this in the crease to overlap a little with that green that we added in the crease to blend it in with that transition color. 
and this is totally a freestyle I have no idea where I'm going with this look but this is what I do every day so it looks it's a really blended look right in just this part right here I'm going to add most true pigment by bare central bare minerals I'm going to just add it right there just to give some sparkle and I'm just very so tight um softly putting it um on the crease this is called true by bare minerals I like that so I'm gonna clean my brush off just brush off the rest of it and go ahead and buff around it I'm going to darken up my crease just a tiny bit and I'm going to use Embark I mean, a dark brown dark reddish brown and it looks like this Embark and I'm going to take a small pencil brush and just add it just to give more definition to the crease and make a V so we want to go in out just like that we're literally making a V but we're not bringing it all the way in and then we'll go back and blend that out and clean up the edges and bring a little bit just a tiny bit at the bottom so they'll meet up Brush is your friend. So we're going to go back in and just go back in and blend just so gently around it. We don't want to really blend the darkness away, but we want to make sure it's blended in. So a transition color. Let me add a tint with that. So I'm good with that. I'm going to go ahead and line the top. I'm going to take this, my favorite, favorite, favorite OCC pigment, Obsession Compulsive. And if you don't have that, any dual chrome, old gold from MAC would also be a good dupe. And it looks like this. I'm going to add it to the bottom. I think I wear this almost every single day because I love the dual chrome. I'm just going to use a pencil brush and add it at the bottom. I love this stuff so much. I actually got it at IMAX. That's why I don't know the name of it. Kind of add it right there and bring it down. Go ahead and line, add some lashes, and we'll be done have your wing liner okay I'm back guys so only thing I did was add half lashes and I wanted a little more sparkle um, to my eye so I just did uh, reflex pearl and only thing I did very very softly with a soft brush and I just tapped it on and just right at the peak of my brow just a little bit of and it gives you a pretty sparkle Okay, for my face, I went on and added my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. It looks like that. I'm going to put on Refine Golden by MAC. And I'm going to use my, um, I think 138, I don't know, it's a pointy brush. 
the lettering has rubbed off but it looks like this I'm just gonna go ahead and get it right here and add it like a C almost like that so once you have it how you like it I like bronzer and blush so I always go OD on this and a little bit move my hair and put it by my hairline all right so that was refined golden bronzing powder and now I'm just gonna use a very soft um, blush I'm gonna use dainty if I can find it and it look like this this will work or I may use stereo rose instead mm, I think I'll use stereo rose stereo rose looks like this this is dainty so they're kind of night and day but in my shirt I have um, Aztec and it has pink and orange so either one will work matter of fact I may actually just go ahead and mix them why not put a little bit on my cheeks and just for a little more shine shine we love to be um, have that glow I'm going to add my I don't know what happened to this but this is um soft and gentle and ooh, you see that yeah not a good thing don't know what happened but it's okay it's we won't still work it out so i'm just gonna add it right here to the tops of my cheeks just right under there and it i love this stuff it's so gorgeous oh i wish them bumps would go away honey because that's driving me crazy but that's expected when your weather is changing okay and then I always put it right here bring it down I like my nose to be shiny I think it just makes your whole face glow and put it right here and right here and also another thing if you wanted to be more goldy you could add um, just a little bit of gold pot why not I don't, uh, I don't have nothing to lose there's that just a little bit right here on top of that it's a lot going on but you know who cares it's your face so I have a really pretty glow with all my breakouts right there that situation it'll work itself out though brush it on down puff up your hair add me some earrings and we have a pretty oh let me show you what's on my lips really quick I just added I was playing around to see what I was going to do. I'm actually just going to leave this on. I put NYX um, Dolly Pink. I lined it and just added NARS Orgasm. And it's really pretty. I love it. Yep. So that's what my lips going to be. So here we go. Poof up my hair. I had a long night. The Kevin Hart. So my hair sweated out. It's okay. Poof. Push it up. Push it up. And this is what it is. So I will talk to you guys in the next video, guys. Bye.